Hello students, this is yet another installment of SketchUp.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make placemat. This will involve using the arc tool, the rectangle tool, and the push-pull tool. So without further ado, I want you to navigate to www.sketchup.com. You'll find yourself on this landing page. Move to the upper right. You'll see the little person icon. Select it, and then you select My Apps or log in using Google account. I want you to then navigate to my products. View included applications, sketch up for web freemium, launch it. This may look familiar to you. Create new simple template feet and inches. Move to the right. You'll see the second tool up is the Model Info tab. I want you to select decimals, leave the default as it is, and use the snap interval of 0.125. Enter on your keyboard. Now, use a select tool to select the lady. She'll highlight in blue, and then you hit the delete key to remove her. Move back to the right. You'll see the scenes tab. It's the fourth tool up. Select it. Up here, you'll see these two boxes. One is perspective and one is parallel. Use parallel projection. And then you'll see the, uh, the nine icons here. I want you to select the middle one. It's the top view. Select it. Then I want you to go to the bottom left. Under the orbit tool is the pan tool. Use your left mouse button to move your axis down and to the left. Use the rectangle tool. Select it and then select the top of the five. Click, click. Now you go to the origin, select, and your pencil will start to draw the rectangle. As this happens, I want you to use your keyboard. Your dimensions will be you enter 22, comma, 18, and then the enter key. There you have it, a 22 by 18 rectangle. And then I want you to use your mouse wheel to zoom in, you're using your mouse wheel, you're pushing forward, maybe use the pan tool to recenter your rectangle and then zoom in. I really want you to focus on this upper left corner at first, right here. So with that said, I want you to go to the line tool, select it, select your line tool. In the upper left corner, make sure you gotta have a green dot, click with your left mouse button and then pull down a bit and you're going to see a red square right on that line segment. Now is when you enter two on the keyboard and then enter. At that point, you go to the arc tool. It's under the pencil. Select it and then select the second tool down. Click. Now go back to that point. You'll see a green dot show up on your line segment. That's your two inch line segment. You're going to select it. Pull with your mouse and holding that left mouse button until you touch the line segment at the top here. You're going to see a red dot and also you're going to see a magenta arc. That indicates you have made the arc tangent to both lines. You let it go and then, oops, select, I guess. Then you want to make sure that you Find a place where that magenta line is showing, and then you click to lock in your arc. This will take practice. And I'm gonna try it again. And I use the pan tool, and I draw, and I'm gonna zoom in even closer for you. Let's try that arc tool one more time. So you select the line tool. Then you're going to go to this end point down here in the bottom left. Click and you move your pencil upward. And if you see a red mark on that line segment, you know you can use the keypad. You enter two, enter. Then you move back to the left, select the arc. It's called the two point arc. Click, move your pencil back over until you see that green dot. Then you're going to click and hold that 
left mouse button. Then you're going to find that magenta arc when you touch the bottom line segment. Then click, and it should be locked on. Then you manipulate your pencil until you see that magenta arc appear, and then click, and it locks in. Now you can use this eraser tool. If you select the eraser tool, you can erase the line segments by selecting them. And let's go back up using the pan tool. I'm going to go back up here, back to the eraser tool, select, select. Now let's move on. I'm going to zoom out a bit by scrolling with my mouse wheel. I'm pulling the mouse wheel towards me. I'm using the pan tool to manipulate the corner of my placemat. And then I'm using the mouse wheel again to zoom in. I'm going back to the pencil, select it, select this bottom right corner. I click, move the pencil over. I see the red dot to enter on my keypad. I use the two point arc, I find that green dot. That looks like showing up as blue. I, there it is. Select, press and hold that left mouse button. Back over here. I found it. Click. Now I find that magenta arc. Click. Now I use the eraser tool. Erase, erase. And I have to do one last arc. So I'm scrolling out, using the hand tool, bring it in, go back to the pencil, select the endpoint, click, move my cursor down to enter on the keypad, back to the arc tool, use the two point arc, find the green dot. Click, press and hold that left mouse button. Found it. Click. Now I move until I find that arc of magenta color. Click. Use the eraser tool. Select that segment. Select that segment. Now I use the pan tool. I try to recenter, pushing with my mouse, pulling towards me with my mouse wheel until I find a center. Here's where we move to the final phase of making the placemat. You'll see I want to use the orbit tool, select it, and then I'm going to press my left mouse button, turn my axis slightly, then go to the push-pull tool. You're familiar with that. It's the rectangular prism with a tiny arrow on it. Make sure you select it, put your cursor over the placemat, click, and then pull until you see an extrusion occur. Now you want to enter 0.25 on your keypad and then the enter key. Now you've created a rectangular prism with round corners. At this point, you could go over to the I believe one, two, three, four, five, sixth tool up on the right is the styles tab. Select it. And here is a materials list to use. You can pick a color. And if you select the little icon with a magnifying glass on it, there are many options to select for materials. You might try carpet, fabrics, leathers, textiles, and wallpaper. And there are options here. You can select something that looks of interest to you, like this one. And then you put your cursor over your placemat, 
and you'll see it applies a pattern to your placemat. And here's an arrow up in the upper right. You can close the panel again. I like to use the scenes tab yet again to put my view into the perspective view, which gives it a realistic look. And then you can use your mouse wheel to zoom in. You can use your pan tool to recenter. And at this point, save. into your SketchUp folder. Right here where it says name at the bottom left, you put P-L-A-C-E-M-A-T for placemat. Save here. There's a blue button on the bottom right. And you're waiting. It says saving there. Now it says saved. That's when you know you can export. So you click the three lines here at the very left. Export as a PNG. You'll see down here in the bottom right, there's an export as PNG button. You must select that. And then down here in the bottom left, you're going to see placemat PNG. When that shows up, you can be assured that it is in your downloads folder. Here's my downloads folder. It says downloads right there. This PC downloads placemat. If I double click it, it mine opens up in paint. And that's the file you want to turn in. I hope this video helps. Please have tenacity, resilience. Good luck.